There has been differing information on refunds for a Sky Lantern Festival on Sentosa Island that was deemed a disappointment by many attendees because the organizers cannot come to a consensus internally. The company will instead canvas the views of attendees on what they would prefer. The festival, which took place on February 21, had attracted negative publicity, despite being touted as an event where lanterns with burning candles would be released into the night sky. Attendees had to contend with light-emitting diode LED candles and tying them to barricades instead. This was because Asian Couture and Boutique, the company that organized it, had failed to adhere to fire safety guidelines. On Tuesday, February 27, one of its directors, Shirmi Bautista, posted a screenshot of a notice on her Facebook account which stated that no refunds will be given to attendees and that they could instead use their festival tickets to gain entry to a second edition of the event, which will take place around the first week of April. However, speaking to Today on Wednesday, Another company director Stephen Lau said that the directors were still engaging in an intensive discussion and that there were differing views among them as to whether to issue refunds or not. He added that the company is now planning to create a form to gather attendees' views and this form will have a few options for them to choose. Mr Lau said that the options would include a partial refund and the opportunity to attend the next event at a price that will be offset by the amount they had spent for the February 21st event. It cannot be a full refund because we do not know how much some of the attendees have paid as some had gotten the tickets at a 50% discount, he explained. The form is expected to be made available to attendees from March 4th in a more concrete decision on whether to refund buyers will be made after gathering the feedback. In response to today's queries, Sentosa Development Corporation SDC confirmed that Asian Couture and Boutique has reached out to it, seeking to hold another similar event. SDC added, We reiterated the need to apply for all necessary licenses and permits and to abide by all requirements from the authorities before engaging us on a possible venue. The corporation also said that it has been advising every event organizer on the various agency regulatory processes, which include organizers having to comply with regulatory requirements. Depending on the unique complexities for each event, the event organizer must plan in the lead time required for the license and permit application and approvals. As they must show proof of these approvals before the event is allowed to take place.